Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and welcome to this week's Advanced Balkan Architect course. So we're up to part 7 of my Advanced Balkan Architect course where I have the project and the project building is a multi-story office building and I'm showing you how to go from start to finish producing all of the necessary doc uh, project documentation uh, and basically starting from scratch. So we're up to part 7, that means week 7 or hour 7, 7 hours of work so far on this project and it's getting really interested, so interesting. Uh, so uh, that's what I'm going to be showing you in today's video. Now if you want to check out the whole course from beginning uh, till now or some of my previous courses, I have over 35 hours of content, uh, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. There I make these, uh, well, I make these long courses, they are all over one hour long and the one hour format basically allows me to go in depth into some of these advanced Revit topics and I basically show you the workflow, not only how to use the command but basically the workflow in Revit how to produce project in, uh, or project documentation uh, for an uh, in this case for an office building. Okay, so let's get uh, into Revit and let me show you where we're up to. So as you can see here on my screen, uh, this is the project. So this is the floor plan. This is where we left off last time. I just added these room tags and we modified them a little bit to include these uh, the numbers for or the the, the, the area size. Now we've done that and here I, I had to make a, a bit of a modification to this uh, tag just because the numbers weren't fitting perfectly. So I show you how to troubleshoot that uh, option. Then we move on and we create a new floor plan or actually an area plan. So if I go here uh, to the project browser and scroll down just a little bit, you're going to notice that here we have area plans. So uh, we have a new area plan for our first level. And as you can see, this is a rentable area uh, legend. And here, uh, this is the area plan. It's a bit different than a regular, uh, than, than your regular, I don't know, room plans. So here we actually have areas. So this is office area. This is also office area. Here we have exterior area. Here we have a cafeteria, circulation, which includes the, stair the staircase, the elevator, and this lobby. And then we have the restroom. And we have this cool uh, little diagram that's included with the area plan. Now, after we were done with that, I moved on to the section, and here's the section. Now, let me show you the section that we had previously, and this is that section, and it was a mess. Now, if I zoom in over here, for example, as you can see here, all of the elements were overlapping. Here, the stair, it looks like it's disconnected. Here, we don't have any thermal insulation, things like that. It was really a mess. Here, as you can see, it looks like the stair is uh, kind of hanging onto this thermal insulation which uh, certainly wouldn't be a case in real life. So here this is the section that we've ended up with so as you can see everything is merged together and joined and everything looks much much cleaner. Here the stairs are properly joined as you can see over here they are extended and they look really well they don't look like they're kind of just attached and hanging in the air. Here the stair is going and the concrete is flowing all the way down to the foundation as it should be same thing with these walls over here and uh, here previously as you can see this wasn't the case same thing here this was a mess and here if we look at the new section it looks much much better. Now this area we're going to be fixing up even further but I'm going to save that for detailing. For now let's leave it as is. Next I show you how to solve this uh, important detail. So here uh, if you remember from one of my previous parts of this course here we have glass uh, where the people are, but here underneath we have reflective surface, so it's just a mirrored surface, and we had to add some thermal insulation. Now it used to look like this, so it was basically nothing. So I show you how to engineer a new panel that can uh, hold uh, this thermal insulation. So these aren't some annotative elements. They are actually uh, project elements which you can later on schedule. And here we modify this, uh, this hanging ceiling to include some thermal insulation just because there was a large thermal gap over here. So I show you how to do that. And then later on how to modify just one layer here to extend a little bit over this mullion. So so everything would be wrapped up in insulation properly. Also, I show you how to use some of the uh, annotative elements to fix things like this, like this corner over here, for example. This thing look like, looks like it's hanging in the air. And here we have fixed it a little bit. 
Uh, also here, as you can see, the we have uh, these annotative elements. Maybe if I turn on 10 lines, as you can see here, we have the construction that's holding this uh, separation wall in uh, place. So I've added that. And also for this uh, ceiling, uh, the compound ceiling, we have to have some sort of construction that's holding this ceiling in place. And for that, we have this new annotated family, this repeating detail family that's actually holding that whole ceiling in place. And as you can see, it's just one family that can be stretched. It's parametric just because we need to have a different height here on the bottom of floors and a different height here on the roof. So I'll show you how to make this uh, parametric annotative family. Also here, as you can see, uh, the insulation goes all the way to the roof. That's how it should be. Same thing here. Everything, all of these details here have been fixed and connected properly. So that's what I'm showing you in this week's course. So if you're interested in something like that, uh, I suggest you check out my Patreon. First link in the description of uh, this video. There you can find uh, all parts of this course. And if you sign up, you'll get uh, the next parts that will be coming in the upcoming weeks. Okay, and also you can find all of my Revit project files. I have like over 400 files so far. Okay, so that covers uh, this quick announcement for this week's course. And uh, of course, I'll be back with another regular Balkan Architect tutorial here on YouTube in a couple of days. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.